Hi, Dada Basha. How are you? Uh, I am fine, sir. What about you, sir? I am good too. Thank you for asking. Uh, can you tell us something about yourself? Uh, I am Dada Basha. I am B graduate. Uh, B graduate in mechanical engineering at Vidyavarta College of Engineering, Mysore, in 2020. My native place is Uppal, but uh, currently I am living in Bangalore. Uh, coming to my technical skills, uh, I have completed my software testing course from Jewish Federal, where I have learned uh, core Java, manual testing, Selenium, SQL. Uh, my interest includes playing volleyball and playing cricket. My strength is I am hard worker, smart worker, and continue learning. Well, uh, right now I am looking for an opportunity to start my career. This is all about, all about my Okay, okay. Uh, so you were mentioning that you have completed mechanical engineering, right? Yes, sir. Yes. So why are you looking for creating your career in software testing? Sir, uh, because my previous job related to testing only, sir. In, uh, in previous company, I was a quality engineer, sir. But in non-native background, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, one of my friends suggested to join QSpider and do, uh, do course in uh, IT field. Mm. Uh, there will be a lot of scope in IT field. So I joined QSpider. Okay. So do you mean to say that in mechanical, um, you know, in mechanical engineering, in mechanical field, we don't have that much scope? Uh, scope is there, sir, but uh, okay. it's slow process, sir, compared to IT. Okay. And why are you looking for a change from non-IT to IT? Um, because uh, I have interested, I have interest in IT world on it before. Because uh, in my nature, there are a lot of mining companies. So before I, I, I before I, uh, I am interested to do uh, IT only, sir. Because of my nature condition, I have to do in the mechanical engineer, sir. I, uh, but uh, in final year, I regret myself. Uh, then I decide to do in IT background. Mm -hmm. Okay. So whenever this kind of question is asked to you in a real-time interview, you have to tell that you are passionate about software testing. It might be the other reason that might be in your mind. You know, you want to earn more money. You want to earn uh, quickly in your career. So you are looking for IT. But money, fame, all those things are secondary. Primary, the first and foremost thing is how much you are passionate about software testing, right? If you're not passionate about software testing, you won't be able to make up a good career in software testing. If you're not passionate about what you are doing every day, okay. you'll have to do software testing. You know, you'll have to indulge in all these kind of activities like test case writing, test case review, test case execution for eight to nine hours every day. So if you don't like what you are doing you won't be able to be a you won't be able to become a successful software tester right so you have to tell in an interview how much you are passionate that scale of passion you have to tell in an interview right and you can give some examples like uh, whenever new softwares are getting released so you are so curious that you install them in your machines you install them in your mobile phones and you see how those are working end to end right this is how you have yes. to tackle this kind of question. Definitely, this question is going to come in your interview for sure, sure. Right? I'm giving you 200% for that. Okay. Okay. Now, what is SDLC? Uh, SDLC is a step-by-step uh, -step procedure or standard procedure mm -hmm. to develop new software. Sir. Uh, when we should uh, go for SDLC means when a person or a company start with a new project, they will go for STLC. Uh, uh, why we should follow STLC means uh, we will uh, we will not get to know how many engineers are required to work on the project and uh, we will not get to know how much cost to be invested on the project and uh, chances are the releasing software to the customer will be delayed. Like uh, stages of STLC is uh, requirement collection, visibility study, design, coding, uh, testing, installation, maintenance, types of uh, STLC is uh, waterfall model, uh, spiral model, VNB model, prototype model, hybrid model, agile model. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which model is good for SDLC? 
let's say in your company uh, yeah yeah please go ahead uh, agile model is good sir because uh, uh, the release will be very short mm. and uh, here the requirement changes are allowed sir, in every mm -hmm. okay now consider a situation where the software has already been developed in your project right you and your testing team were working in another project and the software has already been developed in some other project. Now you have been moved to that project, right? Is it possible to have Agile in that project? Yes, right. Sir. So you were mentioning Agile is something that uh, will have, that will be able to accommodate requirement changes, modifications, updation of requirements, FRD, BRDs might get changed. Those things can be handled in Agile. But consider a situation where you have been placed in one project in which the development cycle is totally completed. Now it is development is done 80 to 90 percent. Now only 10 percent is left. Now, is it possible to have agile over there? No, sir. No. Why so? Sir, uh, because I have completed, uh, I have completed uh complete tested uh, before project sir we cannot go back and test the old software sir, which has been done because okay. i am working in new project so so let's say you had two projects in one project agile was yeah. being followed and you were getting user story to test every week or every sprint now yeah. that project is about to complete simultaneously there was another parallel project in which the development team was working now that project has yeah is about to complete is about to you know development is completed by 80 to 85 percent now you have to just perform testing so is is agile possible in that project yes sir possible sir. Mm -hmm. how uh like uh, here uh, here the developer and tester will work parallel sir like uh, he will do his work sir by developing we have to test the software uh, by looking into the requirements like uh, what, what requirement like uh, what the customer have given mm -hmm. okay so 80 percent 80 to 85 percent has been developed right so now what you can do is you can divide the testing in different sprints for example you can test 10 to 15 percent in one sprint 10 to 15 percent in second sprint so in two sprints almost 30 percent of testing will be done so you can perform agile testing in that right okay and it will be a, again a parallel process let's say you found new defects so if those are critical okay. you will be doing bug pricing so if the development team and the qa team both are on same page and they feel that this defect needs to be fixed so they need to fix it and deploy it again right okay so that's how you can do okay now whenever you are doing testing of e-commerce based application like amazon flipkart you are having some different testing strategy whenever you are doing testing of uh, some investment banking domain application you are having different testing strategy right so, which principle of testing is implied on this scenario? First, I will do smoke testing. No, no, no. You don't have to tell about type of testing. I'm just asking which principle of uh, testing. Yeah. How many principles of like, testing are there? Sorry, sir. I don't. No worries. So, this is a mock interview. So, even if you don't know the answer of any question, so we will be giving you the answer. Okay. So there are seven okay. principles of testing. Okay. Testing shows presence of defects, not their absence. Exhaustive testing is impossible. Early testing saves time wow. and money. Then defects cluster, right? That is also there. Then uh, pesticide paradox. Testing is context dependent. Absence of error, error is a policy, right? So these are the seven principles of testing. Now I gave you one scenario that you will be testing you will be testing investment banking domain application in a different manner. You will be testing uh, um, 
e-commerce based domain application in a different manner. Now, can you tell me which testing principle is implied over here? We should not do exhaustive testing, sir. No, no, no. Exhaustive testing is something that uh, you cannot test each and every set and each and every combination of each and every permutation combination of the scenario, right? That is exhaustive testing. It is impossible to test everything. It is impossible to test each and everything for a different application, right? So that is there. But when you are testing some application A with different strategy, application B with different strategy, so that is testing is context dependent. It depends on what context. It depends on what type of application you are testing. Accordingly, you will have to switch your gears. Accordingly, you will have to think Right, your thinking tank should think with a different test strategy, right? Okay, now what is the difference between SDLC and STLC? Hello, Dada Bacha, uh, your voice went away. What is the difference between SDLC and STLC? Ankit, we would be connecting at 12.30 p.m. You can disconnect from this call. You need to unmute yourself. Yeah, you're on mute by mistake. Okay, yeah, now speak. No, again, it's on mute. Yeah, yeah, now speak. No, no, it's on mute. Mute. You are on mute. Voice is not coming. Um, did you did you receive some phone? Did you receive some call? No. Then how come the voice went away? <laughs> 